For a wax carver, having a carving pen and one that doesn't take up a lot of room but is very easily accessible is an essential tool. Well, Fordham has one that fits that bill perfectly. Let's take a look now. Now there are two kits that are available from Fordham, but the only real difference is how many tips you get. Otherwise, it's all the same. So let's talk a little bit about this. First, we have our control box, which has a universal voltage unit, and it operates from 100 volts to 240 volts. It is compact, super lightweight, weighs almost nothing. And it's also quite small, only two and a half inches by two inches. So it's definitely not going to be taking up a lot of room. It has precision heat control dial right here and you are able to set and maintain temperatures anywhere from 95 degrees which is 35 Celsius to 560 degrees Fahrenheit which is 294 Celsius. Now you can keep it low for delicate work or you can turn it up for fast removal or carving harder waxes. Now there are a few different accessories that come with this. Of course you've got your power supply and you also have the cord that allows you to get your heat from your control box to your hand piece. And then of course we have a variety of tips. To hook this up I'm going to plug in my power source and at this point I would be able to plug this in. Now when it comes to our cord it does not matter which end you plug in to either the control box or the hand piece. The handpiece is nice and lightweight, quite comfortable to use, also is lined with cork here at the tip for easy holding and making certain that it stays nice and cool so that you're comfortable when you're doing any of your carving. Once you have this plugged in and we have power to the unit, as soon as we turn this on, there is a blinking blue LED light. This is going to indicate to you that it is on, but it also indicates how hot you have your item. So if it seems to be staying on longer, then you've got it much hotter than if we have it down at a low temperature where then we will have kind of a slow blink. Now, if you recall, I said that there were two different units that you can purchase. The difference between them is just how many tips you get. Now, the first unit, the K.WC1, comes with three brass tips. We have a knife, a small spoon, and a straight taper. Then the KWC3 comes with an additional four. So it will come also with our knife, small spoon, and straight taper. But then it also includes a curved taper. It includes the narrow flat, a wide flat, and a large spoon as well. When it comes to removing these, you're going to want to either have a pair of pliers, a pair of leather gloves, or even just a leather cloth that you can use. To insert a tip, you can just simply slide it onto the heat unit of your pen. It is important to change your tip when the power is on. And the reason for that is that wax can get into the tip and underneath and onto that heating element. If it's cool, it will act as an adhesive. And when you go to pull this off, you can actually damage the pen portion of this. So it's important that you always change it when it's nice and warm and use, like I said, either the pliers, a glove, or a leather cloth. And then you can pull this off, take a new one, and simply insert that into place. You will notice that on each tip there is a coiled spring. This is to allow a more snug fit. If you want it to be more snug, you just simply take that and slide it down towards the hand piece. Now another thing about these tips is that they can easily be reshaped with just a file or you can even bend them with pliers. They are just brass. So you can alter these for whatever your needs might be. Now it's also important that you always make certain you turn off this machine when you are done. And I cannot stress enough that tip that I gave you that it must be warm when you go to swap out your tips. Because again, if that wax is cooled on the inside of that tip and you try to pull it off, you will damage the machine. Now when you're working with wax, you typically want these pretty close by at hand, but you also want a machine that's not going to take up a lot of space and that certainly fits the bill. Now one of the things that you can do is take a very strong double-sided tape like a nano tape and you can stick it to the side of your bench where it's completely out of the way. But again, because of the flexibility of our cord, then it doesn't become a hindrance. Also that flexibility makes it so it's nice and lightweight. You don't have to worry about the weight of some cord holding you down. 
Now, if you want more information about this product, make sure you check the link down in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section and we'll be sure to get right back to you. If you like the videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you get notifications when new videos come out. We will see you guys next time.